What's going on guys? Briar Rabbit here. Update 1.2.0.2 has been released to the public. We got a ton of changes here for the House of Wolves DLC. I'm going to go through the list. I'm going to tell you what I like and what I don't like about this update. So let's talk about the key highlights real quick. The first wanted fallen bounty completed each week is now guaranteed to drop a treasure key. Awesome. Greatly increase the drop rate of treasure keys from the small chests at the end of Prison of Elders and increase the drop rate for treasure keys from Ether chests. This is great news. This looks like it's going to be the end of farming for treasure keys. That's a very welcome change. The thing was, the wanted bounties were fun to run. But running them over and over and over again was ruining it because we were trying to farm for those treasure keys. So now hopefully it'll return the wanted bounties to being a fun thing to do as opposed to just a repetitive thing to do. Next, specifically to Prison of Elders, as we already said, they greatly increased the drop rate of treasure keys from the small chests. Class items will now drop from level 32, level 34, and level 35. That's a great change. Fixed a bug in which the ship, Hildian Seeker, did not drop under certain cir circumstances. So if you missed out on the Hildian Seeker, now it'll drop for you. They fixed a bug in which the Elder Cipher bounty could not be acquired if your bounty inventory was full. So that's a great fix. Now that thing will be waiting for you at the Postmaster. However, you will need to defeat Skolas again to receive the Elder Cipher bounty. Now, the next one is just about a single boss. Damage caused by Quadron's Gaze is reduced by 25%, and the damage multiplier for the Jailbreaker buff is increased by 100%. So that is going to make the Quadron encounter much, much easier, and I'm, I'm frankly glad to see it. Next up, Trials of Osiris. They fixed an issue in which Trials of Osiris emblems were not sent to the Postmaster if your emblem inventory was full. So this was really disappointing to those of you who went 9-0 and in the Trials of Osiris. Your emblem inventory was full and you didn't get that exotic emblem. This will be fixed moving forward, but guess what? You're going to have to go 9-0 and again. Also, Passage Coins can now be dismantled. So if you're loaded up on Passage Coins or filling up your inventory, you can now dismantle them. Next up, Weekly Heroics. They fixed an issue where the Weekly Heroic Strikes did not award Engrams. That's great news. It'll be good to get some Engrams back from the Weekly Heroics. Next, In the World at Large. They increased the drop rate of treasure keys from the Ether Chest. Ether Chest may only be looted once per spawn. This, to me, is disappointing. It was really fun to try and see how many times you could get an Ether Chest per spawn, and it's really gonna be too bad they took that away. Now, we are gonna get more treasure keys for the Ether Chest, so you won't really have to go back and forth trying to get more Ether Chests, but it was a really fun way to spend time. I'm surprised Bungie decided to take that away from us. Ether chests will no longer grant ammo consumables when opened. Thank God my, my inventory is completely filled with special ammo synthesis. Ether chests will now grant a small amount of Queen's Wrath reputation when opened. So this is great news. Now you can earn your Queen's Wrath reputation a little bit faster, but it may have something to do with why it can only be looted once per spawn. Ether chests now have a chance to drop tokens of flight, identity, and judgment. Now for quests, Petra will no longer display a quest waypoint for players who have not purchased House of Wolves, and they fixed a bug in which players abandoning the Gone to Ground quests were still being directed to the Venus Patrol. Next up, bounties. The first wanted fallen bounty completed each week is now a guaranteed drop for a treasure key. So. You're basically guaranteed at least one of these per character just from running the Wanted Fallen Bounties. That's awesome. These treasure keys have been super elusive. It's good to know that we're going to be flush in these things. We're going to have these things fallen out of our inventories. Next up, weapons. Fix the bug in which the 1.2.0.1 hotfix mistakenly did not contain the 1.1.1 fusion rifle balance changes. As a result, players were playing with its pre-1.1.1 weapon balance state. 
The original fix has been reapplied. So I actually noticed during Trials of Osiris that fusion rifles seem to be extra effective and I was surprised by this, but it looks like that's going away. Items, token of flight, identity, and judgment can now be dismantled to gain plus 10 House of Judgment reputation each. So if you got a ton of these hanging around in your inventory, you can get 10 House of Judgment reputation per consumable. And ammo consumables can now stack to 100. So no more having five stacks of 20 special ammo synthesis. Now all of those can stack into one stack of 100. So all in all, I'm actually really excited for all of these changes except the one that you can't loot one chest multiple times. That was a fun way to spend some time in Destiny. It was a fun thing to do. But now the treasure keys are gonna be kinda all over the place, it probably isn't that necessary anyway. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.